And I like that color shirt because that color shirt look like the shirt of the old WTU, the proud union of Uriah Buzz Butler. We just celebrated Labor Day, but we can't even say the word celebrate because this government under Keith Christopher Rowley is the most anti-labor government since colonial times. And when I see this man here, Ansel Roger, he went to put President General, I don't know how he still have a walk. Everybody in the union lost in the walk, but he still have a walk. I don't know, Trinidad and Tobago is not a real place. A man whose work it is to keep people work, making everybody lost them work, and he still have a work. Only in Trinidad and Tobago, only in a country that would elect a baller idiot like Rowley to be prime minister, that no other country, no other person would ever look at him leaning to the left. I, I want to investigate this leaning to the left, you know, Roger. I wonder how he lean, so. Eh? I wonder if Emery Brown could tell me anything about that. Keith Scotland, anybody help me with that lean into the left now? Randall Mitchell, anybody? Anybody want to help me with the lean to the left? But this man who does lean to the left, he gone to place a wreath on Saturday, on Labor Day, at a monument built in honor of Labre Charles. It is alleged that Charles resembled Tubal Uriah Buzz Butler, and he was shot and killed by police officers who mistook him for Butler. Well, let me tell you something, Roche. Charles, who was mistaken for Butler, and Butler, them want to hit you a Macron because them can't believe what you have done to the OWTU and by extension, labor in Trinidad and Tobago because if you could knock out, anybody know, long time when we in party and thing and we going and fight, wildness young boys, or you're on a football field and you're going and fight, you always know you have to assess who is the baddest man. And if you're going and fight, especially if you're outnumbered, we know you gotta hit the baddest man hard and fast first in order to have some chance to survive. So when Rowley was allowed to hit the baddest union in the history of Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean, the strongest, most powerful union, he hit that union with one fell swoop with the help of this lean to the left man. He hit them bam bam and fire everybody. And you could hear crickets chirping. Well, once you hit the baddest man, everybody else under pressure. So, what's up, PSA, Watson Duke? I'm ah, sorry, this man, give them the encouragement to come at all here. Across the board, port workers, and he said, I'm ah, sorry, that man, this man, give, you, give them authority to come at all here. T and Tech, TT Post, Caribbean Airline, where you feel pilot? All you going and play strong? I less strong like this man, Roger, a total disgrace. I there was a video that I talk about here. I tell all about you, RG, play, play, and then what was about Roger? All your fall asleep out. All right, well, I'll all you find out. Roger the said, Minister of Public Utilities, whatever his name is, was joking on the other day. Oh, well, I saw what they did at Petrotrain and Heritage. And, oh, <laughs> what they did at Petrotrain? Bust all of your, all your truth. Tell all your mama gizam what a man who does lean to the left. I'm not hearing from the man who does lean to the left anymore. And it ain't Labour Day coming. Where the strong fighting Labour leader, the inspirational Roger the Clown, who attacked Kamala. And when Kamala was Prime Minister, all he union had work. Refinery running, everybody working. But he hated Kamala. He attacked Kamala. He take Kamala, put she in a, in a, a, one of them, a, a, a mannequin, and dragged she through the streets. But Rowley bust all the truth. Rus Rowley fire everybody. And he lean to the left. And say, great is the PNM. It shall prevail. Where's that man? Because they bust all the truth. That was restructuring. Wasa restructuring coming. Bus truth coming. Port restructuring coming. Bus truth coming. Caribbean Airlines restructuring coming. Bus truth coming. TT Post restructuring coming. Bus truth coming. Everybody want to vote again?
Caribbean airline, all you must say, Anel have a crystal ball. You think I friendly with your senior Gonzalez? And I rub the crystal ball and I take the cards and I say Caribbean Airlines and I predict. No. And he'll not have no crystal ball. And he'll just know what you vote for. And he'll know that the Dwayne no like no people. Don't like no people at all. He come to take all of you out. And he can do what he want. And you all vote for that. What do you want me to say again? Election need people. It need numbers. It need vote. It need thought. It need passion. It, I, it one person can do it. What all you want me to say again? And then hear this one. Hear this Roger now. Roger, more on refinery later. Who the hell say we want to hear about what refinery? Where? When? How, Roger? They shut down refinery, Roger. Roger, refinery gone, Roger. All your workers gone, Roger. Election gone, Roger. Rowley's prime minister, Roger. You put him there, Roger. Kamala had you working, Roger. And you didn't like she, Roger. Because like you don't like woman, Roger. Lean to the left. Ansel Roger said, the union will have more to say at a later date about the unsuccessful efforts of its patriotic energies and technologies company limited to acquire former petrochemical refinery in point of pair the government worked behind the scenes to ensure the patriotic deal failed really roger all of that was just a ruse you now know that roger you put them in the day, they digging out the treasury, they sucking out the treasury, they renting building to each other, they firing everybody, labor has been decimated, they doing what they want, 23 billion dollars, heritage and stabilization gone, we dead in COVID-19. You now know that it was a ruse. You've woken up from your slumber, were you sleeping to the left? Look at who catch all you. Look who fool you, Roger, you big dunce. Run it. Because the OWTU formed a company called Patriotic. They put in a bid for the refinery, and we selected them as the preferred bidder because they were by far the best bidder. And I don't want to talk out of turn. We gave Petrochin, we gave Petrochin a month to deal with some issues that the evaluation team, the evaluation team is mainly public servants and experts, had some issues with how Patriotic was looking at how they will take over the refinery. So they asked them 10 questions. And I can report tonight that Patriotic has answered those 10 questions. And the cabinet will be making a decision on that in the very near future. It's going to, if everything works according to plan, we're going to move the OWTU from a trade union to a commercial business company earning money for its members. Only PNM could do that. You think UNC could do that? You think UNC could build a new society like that? Taking a trade union from being workers to being owners of capital and, and generators of income? Only PNM could do that. Only we. And as Dr. Rowley said, he take all kind of insult from them. All kind of talk from them. I'm talking about the trade union. Take all kind of buff from them, all kind of insult from them. But they put in the best bid. And we don't deal with things based on grievance or who insults you. They put in the best bid, and we are going to work with the oil field workers trade union to create that new system, that new refinery. So this is what your PM government is doing. And this country's future is bright. The only thing bright is this light inside of here. You're correct. The UNC can't do that. Can't stand up there with a straight face with your short midget dwent self and lie down the place. Or they answer 10 questions. And the cabinet is working with Patriot. And the PNM is taking labor union and turn them into capital and investors. And all lie. Lie. And this is what you all did. Let me show all you what my people, and I love all you. Know. I just hope we could wake up 
and stop studying these bag of clowns telling you about who black and who does eat banana and who's Indian and don't have weave and who does eat roti and doubles and pilau and corn soup and who does lie by the river and who does lie by the beach. All of we just do all of that. We need to stop it because we can't have this bag of idiots in power because we didn't study to think. All the man say they lie. He lie and look at you. Look at you, brother. Yes, and man. An election campaign. Yes, Nobody man. Nobody gave them any regulations. Oh, Lord. The commission of police. Very petrol shit. Oh, Lord, patriotic. Dip back, yes, Roger. Lean back like Roger now. Oh, God, wine on it. Yes, wine on the oil. Bring it by. Oh, God, Carl. Yes, TT Post. Oh, God, Wasa. Yes, T and Tech. Heritage and Stabilization. Oh, God, Al Rawi. Give me a little loan from the rental. Oh, God, Stuart Young. Where your brother gone? Wine your neck. What all you want me to say again? I try my best to tell all you. Politics is not no game. How many of y'all, how many children now had to drop out of Costa, UTT, the degree program, medical school, parents can't afford, how many? But all your heart, Fazal, Karim, and Kamala Passad, this Saturday, 800 million in gate. Them shut down the gate down to 400, close half the gate on all year before COVID. Now the gate, the gate must be concrete, wall block off there now. And here Roger now, all of a sudden Roger leaned to the left and he realized it was a ruse. We've been hoodwinked, we've been bamboozled. Oh my God, the pop p and no, Roger, nobody want to hear you, boy. But I will still read what he say. For all of you, when I walk with David Lee, and we talk to people in Point Pierre in San Fernando West with sobers and so on. And workers telling me, nah man, Petrochin coming back. Patriotic will get it. Roger will get it. It's just a temporary setback. And I say, but you believe in these liars? It had nothing. It was a Venezuela scheme. They get busted. It had no money. They skull in. Roll, roll, in but them have other people who they want to sell it and deal with it. It's all a ruse. They say, nah, man. They believe Roger. Well, here, Roger now. Government misrepresenting COVID stats, says Roger. Accusing the government of mishandling the pandemic and the vaccination program, Oilfield Workers Trade Union President Ansel Roger says the, the number of COVID-19 cases in TNT has been underrepresented by the government. They seem to have absolutely no sympathy and empathy for the grieving families. But you vote for them. You put them there. You tell them Kamala is a beast. Kamala don't like people when Kamala have everybody working, create 55,000 jobs, have differently able grants, pension plan, increase, increase culture funding, sport funding across the board, increase building schools, 106 schools, increase school feeding, increase gate, increase opportunities, build MIC and NESC centers across the board for people. You tell them, you tell your people, vote rowly, vote heartless, vote procurement without procurement, vote Imbat, vote Imbat, Imbat don't even like himself. They seem to have absolutely no sympathy and empathy. They are definitely not reporting the true picture. This is your PNM. I thought they reported the true picture about you and Patriotic and Refinery, and we're not closing down Petrochain. And if you was closing your fridge door, no, we're not closing down Petrochain. And you set up your whole union because you're an idiot who leans to the left, Roger. Let's read more from an idiot who now realizing the truth. But nobody cares, but I will still read it. Our healthcare system has been collapsing for quite a while, long before COVID-19. Uh -huh. And you tell everybody, vote Rowley, vote Imbat, vote Convent Girl, vote PNM, vote. Eh, Nelly song like Peter C. Davis, vote. Yes, man. He continued, the Prime Minister told everyone to go to Tobago for Easter. Tobago is a place to be. Remember that? 50,000 people went. Rosie said that was a major super spreader. He said the vaccination program was also a failure. 
herd immunity remains just an elusive dream. That is just like patriotic refinery, an elusive dream, Roger. Your eye open now, but too late, too late shall be the cry. Your clung. Roger noted that surreptitious arrangements are being made to make special vaccines available for certain people. But you ain't get one, Roger. But you was getting a refinery. I mean, they ain't even giving you a vaccine out of the surreptitious set. You ain't even get that, Roger. You put them in charge of the Cheshire to gut procurement, to keep your refinery shut, to give Nikwan gas to blow up, and workers are getting paid, workers are getting fired. And you can't even get a Pfizer, Roger. Roger, you lean to the left and they come to inject you in the right? Well, take Seattle, boy. Take Seattle. Because the UK say no to Seattle. Canada say no to Seattle. Roger also said, while the borders were closed, the coastline remains wide open. Really, Roger? But Kamala say she's going to build a dome. And you and Rowley was laughing. Dome builders, dome masons, dome cleaners, dome this, and them your dumb dumbs. Now you crying? He continued you now. He also said healthcare workers were being exploited. Well, all workers will be exploited because you led them into a position of weakness. You led them into the, the, the shark mouth. And the shark eat. The shark eating labor now left, right, and center. And the duen is laughing. <laughs> because of you. Because labor had no leader. You are the biggest goat in the history of labor. You have taken a mighty union and turned it into a mouse. Due to poor hiring and poor management practices at some of the RHAs, the staffing is severely short. Yes, and who go take you on? You've been hoodwinked, bamboozled. Them outsmart you. So who go take you on? You oh, you're talking a lot of sense now. The problem is nobody cares, Roger. You're a total. You will go down in the annals of history as the biggest, biggest flop. You have taken labor movement, labor strength, labor power, labor patriotism, labor belief back about a hundred years.